Do you daydream of punching small Asians? Oh dear! Then it might be time for Dear Day La Ghetto 29. Uh, welcome back everybody. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these as always, but we're back. Check it out. We've been through some drama, lost my channel, got it back, um, freaking started the, the spring semester, a uh, whole bunch of craziness going on, but I'm here. And now check it out. First Dear De La Ghetto we've done in widescreen high def. Is that exciting or what? Dear De La Ghetto number 29. Big ups to the homies at Hippo Aesthetics for sending me this dope ass baseball tee. They sent me a whole bunch, but this is like my favorite one right here. Um, links in the sidebar, of course, or if I have ads on this one, which I will, links down here um, to get to them. This is a fly ass shirt. Thank you to y'all. Um, also, um, my homegirl Paula over in Boston is... Um, is is um is 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 working with this charity. I'm gonna do like promote this little charity real quick. It's called um, Cultural Kitchen, where they bring kids after school or whatever from different ethnic backgrounds, and you get to like do this after school program where you learn about your own culture, you learn about other people's cultures, you cook, you eat different foods. It's a dope ass charity, man. So I want y'all to to go to this link that I'm gonna post over here somewhere. Go vote for them, man, so they can get some cheese. And um, you know, cause I like cheese. You know what I'm saying? And I like cheese. And I like you know, if other kids are able to eat cheese from different cheesy cultures, and that's a beautiful thing. So go, go help, vote, support this charity, man, um, and get behind them because I really think it's dope what they're doing out there. All right, now to the questions. Dear De La Ghetto, so I'm seeing this girl, she's mad fly, I really like her, but yesterday her best friend came over with me and my boys and we got drunk. She asked me if I want a dome, and at first I didn't because um, I'm dating her best friend and I knew she would find out. My boys told me to stay away, but she seduced me and eventually I let her blow me. A couple hours later, my girl ended up finding out and she now won't talk to me. What can I do to prove to her that I made a mistake and I do actually have feelings for her? Thanks for listening, Paval. Yo, you are stupid, dog. You are stupid. Okay, first of all, if you're gonna cheat and let some random chick dome you up, I mean, like, not, I'm not that I'm condoning cheating, okay? But if you are gonna let some random chick dome you up, make it sure it's a random chick, okay? Never, ever mess with your girl's best friend while you're with her because she will find out. She will always find out. That's the best friend. They tell each other everything. BFFs. She's gonna find out. Two hours later, man. Two hours later, your dumbass is sitting here. You got some dome and now the girl of your dreams is gone because you got drunk and got some dome from this horny ass hoe that, you know, calls herself a best friend. Damn, you are stupid. Ah, man. I don't even know what to tell you, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. If I was this chick, I wouldn't give you another chance. I want to give you a chance. The other, the only way for you to even this up is for you to let one of your homeboys go down on her sweet vag, and I doubt you're gonna do that. You messed up, homie. You messed up. The best thing you can do is beg and plead. Make sure. I mean, if she's worth it, then you know, freaking beg, apologize, save up your lunch money, buy her a copy of Twilight when it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray. Do whatever you gotta do because that's foul. You know what I'm saying? Letting her best friend dome you up. Ah oh, man, you are dumb. <laughs> Dear De La Ghetto, what's good? I'm a short person and I know you're short as hell. I am short. And everyone's gonna ask, how short are you? I'm like 5'4", okay? Before you hit it big on YouTube, did people tease you for your height? Of course people tease me about my height. People still tease me about my height. I'm a short dude, but I'm not ashamed of that, okay? Like, we were made certain ways. I was made to be a short guy. People ask me, would you, uh, if you could become like taller, would you be taller? And I say no, like I am who I am because I'm a short dude. Like to tell you the truth on some real sh stuff here, I think short dudes always like have better personalities than tall dudes. Cause think about it, tall dudes get a girl's attention right away just because they're tall. Like, oh girl, he's tall. So he's gonna get her attention. Short dudes, we gotta bring it right back down. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta be funny, I gotta be well groomed, I gotta smell good, I gotta be fly, I gotta have a good personality, I gotta have nice teeth. So I gotta bring all that attention right back down to me. And I'm like, look baby, this tall dude can't dress, his breath stinks, look at his shoes, they're busted, he can't sign up, he can't find nothing in a size 14, so he's wearing some dumbass uh, freaking uh, Reebok classics or some, you know what I'm saying, some stupid junk like that. And I'm over here looking fly. I'm a short dude. I don't care if I'm a short dude. I've messed with girls that are like um, way taller than me. My, my first girlfriend was taller than me. Like I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I, I do my thing. I put it down. I hold it down for my short people, my Asian people, my uh, my a a anybody people. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't let anything hold you back from doing what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? 
Dear D. Like Ghetto, I'm 15 years old and I like this chick who's never been in a relationship. I asked her out, then she tells me that she's not into the whole relationship thing and I respected that. She never answered my calls and deleted me off MySpace. I tried to get real with her, but she cursed me out. How do I make her like me as a friend again or more than friends? Thanks for the reply, Red Sox fan 11. Red Sox fan 11? <laughs> This chick does not like you. Leave her alone. Stop being a stalker. She was trying to be nice. You said, hey, hey, let's go out sometime. She said, nah, I don't really want a relationship. You kept calling her, blowing up her phone. She was like, what is, what is his problem? All right, she tried to let you go easily. If she's ignoring your calls, homie, she doesn't want to talk to you. If she deleted you off MySpace, she doesn't even want to see you. So if you try to be real with her after all that, I don't blame her for cussing you out. I'd cuss you out. Like, get out my face. Red Sox fan? Maybe she doesn't like the Red Sox, you know what I'm saying? So, my advice to you, homie, uh, leave her alone before she files a restraining order on you, alright? <laughs> Pop a couple Mentos, go holler at some other chick. Dear De La Ghetto, I'm a 15-year-old girl who I guess you could say has low self-esteem. Even though people constantly tell me that I'm pretty, whenever I look in the mirror, I just don't see what they're talking about. What should I do? Please help me out. Smiley face. All my love. Kathia. Or Kathia. Well, look, listen, boo, let me tell you. I'm calling you boo right now because I'm giving you love. This is straight love pouring out from my loins for you, okay? I took a women's studies class. I took human sexuality classes and whatnot. And I've been around, you know what I'm saying, for like 22 years now. I know I'm an old dude, okay? So I know what I'm talking about. And um, so many girls are insecure and, and have eating disorders and constantly just think they're so ugly, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it sucks because the media... Everywhere you look, you see these ads of these perfect skinny white bitches everywhere. And you know, everybody's like perfect face, perfect bodies. And that's not real. That's fake. You know, these chicks are photoshopped, processed, plastic surgery, makeup. You know, this is not real, you know. And these corporations spend millions of dollars every day making these ads, making these commercials to make you feel ugly because they want you to go out there and be like, damn, I'm ugly. I need to buy this makeup or I need to buy this hair product so I can look cute or I need to buy these contacts because blue eyes are way hotter than my brown eyes, you know? And sometimes you just, you got to realize like, yo, I'm beautiful, you know? I don't want to be perfect. I don't want to be like everybody else, you know? Like your imperfections make you beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And believe it, like, just because you look in the mirror and you don't see beauty, other people do. They really do. And you have to learn to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at me. Look at me. Like, I'm, I'm definitely not Brad Pitt, you know? But I can look in the mirror every day, with even with my chinky eyes and my fat, flat nose and my big ass head and my acne. And I can say, damn, Tim, you are one sexy motherfucker. And I'm sorry, Dad, that I said that, but I'm making a point. I'm trying to talk to a girl about her self-esteem. So if you watch this, I apologize. But sometimes you just got to say that. Like, damn, I am one sexy bitch. Kathia, get in the mirror, look at yourself, and just be like, Kathia, you are a sexy bitch. Okay, and do one of these and put on that new Beyonce album and rock out with your freaking vag out, okay? And on that fuzzy note, um, don't forget to register at timothydelaghetto.com. Don't forget to hit me up if you want tickets for when I open up for Jim Jones on February 16th. Um, shout outs to my boys Andrew Tinogo, Tinogo or Tinoso, I'm not sure, you got messy handwriting, dog. Matt Lagman and Rowden, Rodin, Rodin Cat. Rodin Cat? I met these dudes at Wingstop like two hours ago, so big ups. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thanks to the new subscribers. Rush Hour EP drops mid-March. Buy it. Peace in the Middle East, rain in Spain. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.